Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, September the 16th, I think. <laughs> and I got some Halloween stuff to share with you guys, so uh, it's a Halloween video. <laughs> I'm not sure how many days it is to Halloween. I forgot to look. But it's getting close, and everybody's starting to decorate now. <laughs> All the people here in my complex and in my city have been putting their decorations up. And uh, we have our outdoor decorations up now. We put them up last weekend, I think. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to just share you with you some things, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I, pur I purchased some things, and also my sister gave me some things, and then I made some things, so I wanted to just share everything. Alright, so first, I'm going to show you some stuff that my sister got me. Um, she purchased me some pins. She actually only purchased one of them, and she got two for free, so she gave me the free ones too, and she made me a cup. I think she got the body of the cup at Walmart. So I think I've seen these at Walmart. They're in like multi-packs. And it's currently dirty. I gotta wash it. So if you see stuff on the inside, it's because I used it. I just finished using it. But she made me this cup. So it is a ch color changing cup. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's glittery. And it's yellow and it turns green when there's something cold in it. And she put uh, the McDonald's pumpkin and the ghost and witch. What are they called? Happy Meal containers and then some spiders and bats and ghosts on there there's some on the bottom too oh and a pumpkin uh it's got an orange lid and straw <laughs> so i love this she gave it to me yesterday i've been using it ever since um been drinking my water out of it and some i drank some soda out of it today when we was at a family dinner we had a family dinner today but i just love it it's so cute <laughs> so she gave me that and then inside of that was the pins she gave me also like extra ink um insides for the pins so i'm not sure which one is the one she purchased she purchased one of them and then got two for free so the first one is this one it's got frankenstein it's a monster on it and it's like a shiny green and a little black ball and they're just little um twist out pins so she got that one and then a hocus pocus one so it's got the sanderson sisters on it and then they're really pretty it looks like it's like a leopard print, but it's a colored one. And it's yellow. And then the last one says horror movie addict. And it's got like a sparkly red one and then like a blood splatter one. So I absolutely love these pens. I'll be using them. I've already been using them. <laughs> and I'm going to put them where I can use them a lot. So um, I don't forgot the name of the place where she got them. It's a Facebook page and a TikTok. But I will link it down below. I think it was called Pack and Happiness. P-A-C-K apostrophe N happiness. I think that's what it was, but I'll for sure link it down below if you want to check it out. Um, she's gotten a few from a couple different places. And she's won some. She's pretty lucky lately. She's been winning a lot of giveaways. But um, she's really into these pins right now. I, f I forget what they're called. They have a name. <laughs> but um, I've seen them before, but I've never bought any. So she bought me some. So Well, she bought one and she ended up getting free ones. So that's nice. Other uh, person who made them. All right. So that's everything my sister gave me, right? I think so. Um, oh, she also gave me something for someone else, for one of my Yarny friends, which I'm gonna, I meant to drop off today, and it's just a card, uh, but I'll do it tomorrow, <laughs> so to get to that person later this week, and then they'll know who it is when they see it, <laughs> but, um, and then at Walmart, we went to Walmart, we had to pick up something yesterday, I don't remember, <laughs> but I found these little spiders in the Halloween section, I didn't see them before, but it's eight of them, and it was like less than two dollars, it's like a dollar ninety-seven. But it's got four of the black ones, and they're fuzzy, but they're like hard plastic. So it's got um, four of the black ones and four gray ones. I got these because I love Halloween, <laughs> obviously, uh, to either decorate with. And I also thought maybe about making like hair clips with them. And also these would go good with my spider up shawl for Halloween. I might uh, hot glue or something. <laughs> Figure out maybe hot glue a um clip on them and clip them onto my shawl that way I could take them off and use it for other things that that's a better idea <laughs> I might do that uh for that and I still I still kind of want to make something for my hair but I would want the background of it to be a different color so that it kind of popped because my hair is dark and then on Halloween it's gonna be dark so I might use something with it like a brighter color and put that on there I think it'd be cool to have like a clip you know but anyways so I grabbed those because they're cheap and they're, there's eight for less than two dollars so it's a pretty good price I thought I also picked up some fingernails. <laughs> I used to wear fake fingernails a lot. 
um, like the press-on ones. And I just quit doing that. And then for a while, I painted my fingernails. And I had to quit doing that lately because of the baby. Ever since she's been born, I haven't had a chance to, like, sit down and do it. I've done it a few times. But not as much as I would like. So, but they had a Halloween <laughs> display. And these were only $4 each. So, I didn't feel bad about buying them. Uh, so, I, per I, got I grabbed two of them. This one is just uh, spider webs. And these are coffin cut. What does it say? I remember it said some. Oh, yeah. It's coffin and medium length. These ones are. And it's, these are the glue on ones, which I've never really used a lot. So I have to, I've never really used the glue ones. I usually, the other ones were Kiss, I think. And they were like sticky, really sticky. And they lasted for a pretty good while. So this is LA Colors. But anyways, it's Spy Webs. And then I got this one. I got this one because it reminds me of Frankenstein. And it's also, it's got spider webs, black, and like silver shiny. And they come with enough, it comes with 30 nails each. So I have enough to do a full set of these ones and a full set of these ones and then a mixed up set, <laughs> which is what I used to always do. I'd save all my random ones and have a mixed up set of nails. Uh, so I'm probably going to put one of these on, maybe tonight, if I get a chance. So we'll see about that. They had a bunch more than I wanted, but I didn't want to buy too many and some of them were more expensive. I guess because they were like fancier cuts and had some of them had like rhinestones and stuff on it. But these ones I scanned them both because the signage wasn't that clear. <laughs> so I scanned them both with my Walmart app and they both came up three ninety something. This one's called Cobweb <laughs> and this one's called Black Magic. <laughs> but anyways, I purchased those. Okay, and then two things that I made. Okay, I have had these jelly rolls in my fabric stash for... I think it's 2019. I think I bought them in 2019. Because I think it was before COVID. I kept intending to make bags with them. And then I saw a video tutorial of um, table runners made out of fat quarters. Oh, not fat quarters. Jelly rolls. Which is where they essentially take a yard of fabric and they cut it into, I think, two and a half inch strips. Long ways. The long way of a, a yard <laughs> of a fabric. Um, and then they mix up the print. So you get a bunch of each print. So you have like a whole bunch of strips of fabric, essentially. I think it's two and a half inches by the whole length of a yard of fabric. Um, and I've been holding on to them, so I decided to just play around with it. So I made a bag set. This is going to be for me, because uh, it's kind of a lot of work. If I made this and sold it in my shop, I'd have to charge kind of more than I normally do for this size of bag, just because it's a lot more work. But I think it turned out really cute. So here's the project bag. <laughs> it, it does have a box bottom. And uh, the quilting on this time, I did it straight across and on the seams of the where the two meet. And I think it, it reminds me of Frankenstein again because of the zigzags. So it's quilted. It's top stitched up here, but it's quilted here, 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 and down here. And it's just regular sewn in on the inside here. And I didn't line it with um, polka dots that I had on hand. <laughs> it's got an orange zipper. And I put a little handle on it. I always put the handle on the side where it opens so that you could carry it on your arm and with the yarn coming out and crochet. <laughs> That's my intention. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't, but it's always an option. <laughs> but anyway, so that is the project bag. It's a pretty good size. I think it was um, 12 by 13 and a half ish, or a little over 13, like 13 and a quarter. But then by the time I box it, it makes it shorter. So now it's more like 11 by 12. Um, but I think it's a pretty good size for a project bag. So I might. Probably after the new year, because working with zippers and stuff is more complicated than just making drawstring bags. Uh, I might start making this size for my shop. I messed up right here, but it's okay. This side's lined up pretty good, but I messed up this side. But it's okay, because it's for me, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I so saw I made that, and then I, because I didn't do the whole jelly roll, I just pulled some of the fabric out. And then, so after I cut that bag out, I had some left, so I, I decided to make like a hook case slash notions pouch. So it's the same fabric order and it's quilted the same way it's kind of long <laughs> it's like 12 inches long uh and it's much shorter obviously and i didn't box it i thought it better it was better without being boxed but this is just like a notions pouch so i put my hooks down in there scissors down in there a little tube with a needle in it <laughs> just anything like that down in there and uh use that so i made those i'm really happy with the way this bag turned out Minus the fact that I messed up lining up the sides. But it's okay. It's mostly because I wasn't paying attention that well when I was sewing. Uh, it just got off. So, but I do normally try to pay. Like if I'm making bags for other, like to sell, I try to make better, pay a better attention to that. 
but uh, I still think it turned out really cute. Um, sometimes, you know, it doesn't really matter if they line up. It's just not a big deal. <laughs> but I just think it's an adorable bag. And I love it. And, yeah, so I made those. So what do you guys think of that? <laughs> but um, I still have a whole Jelly Roll of that print left, or that series of prints, and some of that one Jelly Roll. So I might make some more of those bags. But probably not this year because <laughs> it's already getting close to Halloween time, you know. And, um, I really just, usually every year, if you've been with me long enough, I stop working on the difficult bags around the holiday season, which for me includes Halloween, because it's just more frustrating and I don't want to spend time making bags that I could be spending with my kids. <laughs> so, um, I usually start back up in January making the more complicated bags like totes and zipper bags and stuff. With that being said, I am working on some more bags for the shop. They are regular prints. They're not any holiday prints. Um, uh, drawstring bag sets. There's cats, there's just colors. I think there's a couple florals. Um, I can't remember what's all of them, but I'll be working on them tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so anyways, they'll be coming up in a week or so in the shop, so I'll announce it. Lastly, after my family dinner today, we had a big pizza. It was really good. I want to sort of picture it if I can think about it. Me and my sister made it. Um, and I made a, I don't know what to call it. I don't know if it's cookie cake, cookie cake or cookie pie, because I made it a pie dish. <laughs> but it was like a chocolate chip cookie layer with a like icing middle. It's basically cream cheese icing. And then you put crushed up Oreos on top of it and then drizzled it with white chocolate. And it was pretty tasty, but it was really sweet. <laughs> so I only had a little piece of it, but uh, everybody else seemed to like it, so that's good. And then after we left my mom's, we had to run and get Devin's prescription. So um, I got or not high we went to the thrift store because i love thrifting especially for clothes because i hate spending a lot of money on clothes i will buy the kids and devin like brand new stuff um but for myself I always just thrift i feel so guilty uh buying like new clothes and stuff for myself <laughs> always feel like well i should have spent that on them you know but anyways i got a pair of pants they're mid-rise, which is, I haven't worn mid-rise pants in forever, because I am a high-rise kind of gal. I like my pants to go as high up as possible, because I feel like it holds my belly in, and after the babies, you know, my belly needs that. I don't even know what brand this is. Wonderly, I think is what it says, but I, I actually tried them all on. And these pants are tighter. I normally wear mom jeans, so they're really loose in the leg, but these are, like, tighter. And I think I kind of need that sometimes, you know, just to make me feel more feminine, if that makes sense. But anyways, it's just a pair of jeans. I did give them the once over, make sure all the seams are good and the zipper and buttons good and the thighs, because us bigger ladies wear out the thighs. And I don't even think these pants have been used very much. There's no stains on them. It doesn't even look like they've been worn. But they were only $7.99, which is pretty cheap, because normally jeans can, you know, the Walmart ones are in the 20s, and then anywhere else is higher than that. So I got me a pair of jeans to go with my other ones. And then I was thinking, I was trying to think of more um, fall type things that I want to start wearing. So I got some flannels for layering over like uh, either camis or like t-shirts. And I did get one dress, but it's a really short dress. So I'll have to wear either leggings or tots or something under it is my plan. But anyways, so I'll show you them for the people who care. <laughs> Take all the tags off and then I gotta wash them. Um, this one is Terra and Sky, so this is Walmart brand, pretty sure that's Terra and Sky. But it's just a pretty flannel, it's purple, and it buttons up. But I'll probably never wear it buttoned up, maybe I'll probably just wear it opened over t shirts and stuff. I like layering, it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable because I'm really self conscious of my stomach. I have a pretty big stomach and I carry a lot of my weight there and it makes me look sometimes I look like I'm pregnant <laughs> uh, when I'm not and so I'm real self-conscious of that I'm always trying to find ways to make it look smaller uh, and I'm not the best at dressing myself I have no fashion sense but I do that's one reason I love fall and winter is because you can layer clothes and it helps me feel like I look better <laughs> but it's just really pretty I like the colors and then I got another purple one this is an actual shirt it doesn't open all the way it's CJ Banks I don't know that brand either but it's another purple if you can see it so it's like a flannel it's got some buttons in the front and for whatever reason it's got buttons going down the back does it open no it's like false I thought that was kind of weird but I like the way it looked when I wore it so 
not the buttons, but like the way the shirt looked when I tried it on. So the shirts were, the first one was $4.99 and this one was $4.99, which is pretty good. Because if I had went to a store and bought them, they would have been like $20 each plus. I hate these little plastic things that <laughs> are in clothes, these little things. I used to love putting them on clothes though when I worked at Walmart. Use that little gun. And then the last flannel I got is a really bright red one. I thought about going to the men's section looking for some flannels there to get some like oversized ones. But I didn't. This one is Arizona Jean Company, which I think is another one that Walmart carries. And it's a bright red. It's like almost an orange. <laughs> I like the way this one looked on too. It is kind of big. And I liked it. I might wear this or one of these to the pumpkin patch when we go in a few weeks. But, uh, yeah. And so the last thing I got is like a sweater dress. It was $7.99. I actually like the way it looked on me. It's just really short. So I had to get something to wear under it. And with some boots, I was thinking. So it, it is, what brand is it? A&A, &A, A New Approach. I think that's another Walmart brand. <laughs> Even when I don't shop at Walmart, I get Walmart brands. Um, but it's kind of like a, not a turtleneck, but it's like a snug neck. And it's just this pink color, like a pink a, it's like a dusty pink. I'm not good at describing things. And it does have like, it's it goes to like my knees, but it has pretty high splits on both sides that go up to my thigh, up my thighs. Which I was like, ooh, when I first put it on, because I'm not used to dressing, you know, risque. But um, I think with leggings and my little boots, I think it'd be cute. Plus with like a sweater over it, a big chunky sweater, which I love. I can't wait to pull up my sweaters. Uh, I think it'd be real pretty. So I tried it on and I thought it looked good. So... I vary sizes. I'm anywhere between a 16 to a 20, depending on the brand, and an extra large to a 2X, <laughs> depending on the brand. So, um, I looked at all those sections. I, was, I went through there and looked at all the sizes, because sometimes it's just weird how women's clothes are. But I like this a lot. It is kind of see-through, so I'm going to have to get some, um, what are they called? <laughs> the shapewear stuff to wear underneath it, which would probably benefit me anyways. Um, but I like it, yeah, so... Maybe I'll, if I ever start dressing myself better, I can do, like, outfits of the day. <laughs> um, I suck at dressing myself in the summer because I don't like showing off a lot of my body. And I get hot, so I usually just wear shorts and a t-shirt. And then I, but then I feel like I'm, I look frumpy, you know, like a mom who just quit trying. I don't know how to do makeup. I don't know how to fix my hair. <laughs> so I'm just existing. Uh, I was never really taught all those girly things. And I wasn't interested in them as a kid. I got interested in them as an adult, but I don't have anyone to help me <laughs> learn how to do any of that stuff. So, um, I'm trying to figure it out myself a little bit. I just, I want, I've been wanting to feel a little bit more put together and a little bit more feminine lately. I just feel like I need that, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it's just nice to feel like a girl. But anyways, I gotta go put all this stuff up. This video's turned out a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. It's just me chatting and showing you all the stuff that I made and bought and was gifted. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I will probably see you again. What is tomorrow? Probably Sunday. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe Monday. I don't know. <laughs> but I do got to show you guys what I've been working on crochet wise. And I want to try to keep doing my Halloween videos. I'm supposed to be doing them every day. And October is coming up in two weeks. Can you believe it's already the middle of September? <laughs> I can't believe that. But uh, we've already been popping up and saving uh, trunk or treats and things going on. One of them's at an airport. So that's going to be fun. And there's going to be, they're going to have planes that you can go to and like check them out. I think Jesse's gonna like that a lot but yeah I think we're just gonna try to have fun as family and I already got Christmas on my mind I'm already already got an Amazon list full of things I'm gonna order for everybody I'm trying to do it a little bit more cost-effective this year so and I'm not planning on buying June a lot of stuff since she's just gonna be almost two um I'm planning on getting her one of those little type slides I think she'd like that a lot and we're gonna get her a little ball pit uh, to put at the bottom of it <laughs> and then she'll get toys you know from my siblings and my mom and her other grandparent so I'm not gonna worry about buying her too much stuff and then I gotta get Santa gifts so and then stocking stuffers so she'll get plenty Jesse's the hard one because um you know he's old enough to know <laughs> that, he, that he should get more than just one present but um yeah we'll deal with it I I love the holidays but I hate the stress that comes along with it <laughs> Because it's the end of the year, and usually, you know, like, Devin's going to be off work for, like, two and a half weeks. So, it just makes everything stressful. <laughs> but it's also fun, because it's the holidays. But anyways, I'm blabbing. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. i go take a shower and clean up the kitchen. 
and then I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow <laughs> if I can remember and yeah there's a few Halloween bags left in the shop if you want to check them out and then in a week or so there'll be some regular prints I can't remember what they all are but I'm gonna be working on them starting tomorrow so then I'll know what they are <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video bye guys